New Hope Outreach Ministries, making a difference by taking the gospel from word to action. And now, today's message. Oh, yeah. First of all, I thank God for y'all being here today. Y'all could have been anywhere else, but y'all are here today, and I thank God for that. Let me start out in prayer. Hand the Father in heaven. Thank you, Father God, for this day. Father, I give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor belong to you. And I thank you, Father, to lead God and direct. And this is your house, Father. We say what you want us to say. And we thank you, Father, for this day. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Ah, I'm not going to hold y'all up, hold y'all alone. But I think God got some good stuff today, I believe. Today, y'all, I was listening to the to the testimonies and, and, and things of that nature. And, and it's it's obvious that, you know, that nowadays that the devil has been showing his little ugly head and trying to do things to get people to make bad decisions, my opinion. You know what I mean? In all different types of levels. Now, as I look around the world, it's not only just here, but around the places that the devil is trying to do things to confuse people. And so today we're going to talk about being deeply rooted. Deeply rooted today. Base scripture is Colossians chapter two, verse six and seven. Deeply rooted. What we're going to talk about today. Colossians chapter two, verse six and seven. We there. OK. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus, the Lord. So walk in him. Rooted and built up in him and established in faith as you have been taught, abundant in thanksgiving. Amen. Now. I look at that word rooted. And I feel that it's real important to be rooted but not just any root being deeply rooted. Now, Colossians chapter two, verse six, say walk in him. In other words, the other, other words, you might find some kind of some, some, some other versions that means continue in him. Now, let's focus on the word continue. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, New Hope. Do continue mean you start and then stop. Do continue mean you take breaks. Do continue mean whenever I feel like it. Mm. Do continue mean, quote unquote, when everything is going good. Mm. So continue means to be consistent. Correct. Now, Colossians chapter two, verse seven says. Rooted and built up in him and established in faith as you have been taught. Now, let's look at the word taught. Now, I believe one thing to keep you rooted, since that's the subject for today, one thing to keep you rooted is what type of teaching you are allowing yourself to receive. I believe if you're receiving true spiritual teaching, that spiritual teaching will help you extend your roots, if you will. In your spiritual life, spiritual teaching will give you a more steadfast foundation on God's word. Just in case I might decide to get weary or just in case I might decide to backslide. I believe in order to stay rooted. There's many. There's many blessings when it comes to God, but there's also correction when it comes to God to keep you rooted. Amen. Colossians say establish in faith. Amen. I believe in order to be rooted in the faith, you have to constantly be exposed to the faith. Not just I heard new hope cooking a good meal. Or not, quote unquote, it's Easter or Christmas. I decide to put on my good suit and come to church. No, 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 no. The Bible say being established in the faith, being rooted in the faith, not just rooted, but deeply rooted in the faith. Amen. Now let's get busy. Let's talk about faith. 
Now, most church, when they teach about faith, is to believe in or trust God to get something. Amen. A lot of pastors and preachers, they preach from that perspective about faith. Amen. On receiving something from God or believing to get something from God. But what people fail to realize is this. Faith is not just trusting God to always to receive something, but you also have to have the faith in the teachings of God. And you all in the Bible, when it talks about faith, that means that you have have faith in what God believes in. Amen. For example, if the Bible tells me that Jesus is God, the begotten son and whosoever believe in him, that means Theo must believe that Theo must be dedicated to that. And Theo can't let nothing. And I mean, nothing compromise that. Amen. I have to be steadfast on that to stay rooted, meaning no new age stuff or these so-called preachers and prophets and shown off no government shouldn't have no way of manipulating my stand fast. It shouldn't happen. Trying to teach me about other gods and other theories, trying to manipulate your steadfast on being rooted. Amen. You see, if I let that happen, they let me know I had no root in my foundation. I'm like a wave in the ocean. Certain things hit me. I'm here. I'm there. No root in my foundation. God not answering quick enough. I'm going to do it myself. No root in my foundation. We're talking about being rooted. No hope y'all with me. Now, we're just going to take these few scriptures today. I'm not going to hit you with 50 scriptures like I normally do. We're just going to take these few scriptures and we're going to break it down to the bone by the grace of God. Is that all right? All right. All right. Let's get this straight. Let's get some understanding on this. Now, who all have a garden in here? Anybody who know about garden? All right. Now, every plant has roots. But every plant is not root at. Let me say that again. Every plant has roots. But every plant is not root at. What are you talking about, Theo? Gardens. You know, as soon as you plant that seed, it turned into a little green stem, correct? You can pluck up that little stem up. And on that little stem, you see little baby stems on the side of it, correct? Why is that? Because it's not what? It's not rooted. That's why. Now, you go across the street. And that tree that's taller than this building, you go try and pluck that up. Nothing is going to happen. Why is that? Because it's rooted. And not just rooted. It's deeply rooted. And that's how we have to be. We need certain situations. We have to be deeply rooted. Amen. And see, that's what happened to us in the church. We come in over ambitious. Few scriptures under our belt. Now we got a word for everything. And then a few speed bumps in life or other words, a few circumstances hit you. Then you're like the temptations. You're standing on shaky ground. <laughs> Amen. Roots not deep enough. Standing on shaky ground. And speaking of grounds, the Bible says in Ephesians, you have to be grounded. That means balance, not standing on shaky grounds. Why? Because you have balance. Colossians chapter two, verse eight says what? Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophies. Empty deceit. According to the traditions of men. According to the basic principles of this world. And not according to God. You see, when you're rooted, can't know anybody come tell you their beliefs. You see, when you're rooted, you can care less of what color God is. You see, when you're rooted, that don't make no difference who's up here preaching long as they preaching what thus say the Lord. And you will know the difference because the Bible say my sheep knows my voice. I wouldn't care if my wife three blocks up the street. If she held holler my name, I'm annoyed. Why? Because I know her voice. Amen. Can't nobody come tell you no anything. 
politics shouldn't come in the way that you see or preach what thus say the Lord. Appeasing people. They're keeping you from what saying what thus say the Lord. Telling people what they want to hear to get in their pockets. Pulpit hustlers, what I call them. Pulpit gangsters, what I call them. Anytime a person get up here and tell, instead of telling you what does say the Lord, because they too busy thinking they finna fin. The Bible say the truth is what sets you free. Amen. Have your beliefs. But it's not going to get you nowhere. Why? Because Colossians chapter two says empty deceit. You can have your theories. It's empty deceit. You can say that Jesus is not God. It's empty deceit. You can have your other gods that you believe in. It ain't nothing but empty deceit. You're not going to get nothing out of it. That's what I'm saying. Nothing. Wasting your time. You've been hoodwinked. But when you're rooted, you will know the difference. You will know it's just traditions of men, principles of this world, and not according to Christ. Y'all see, y'all see nowadays that you wake up in the morning, three in the morning, folks trying to sell you a rag and talking about that's going to get blessings from God. You buy this water, God going to move. Empty the seat. People trying to sleep. You'll be telling these folks, just do this and that. It's empty the seat. That's what we've got going on nowadays in 2023. A bunch of philosophies, but not coming from the word of God. John chapter 14, verse six says what? We there? Jesus said to him, I am the way. Muhammad is the way. Buddha is the way. A God with eight arms is the way. I don't believe in God at all is the way. Mm. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, the life. No one believe in what you want to believe in. But the Bible said no one black, white, no one. Japanese, Chinese, no one. Indian, African, no one. Comes to the Father except through who? No one means no one. Amen. We're talking about being rooted. That's it. And you notice how people come to you with these, with their so-called teachings and foolishness and all of that, how they just be proud and full of themselves and think they know it all and then get so wrapped up in the lie that they was taught and then they forget about God and now your whole life is full of empty deceit. Now you're discouraged and now you're finding yourself like Daphne said, living in fear instead of faith. Why? Because you're not rooted. Pastor John liked to call it connected. Amen. That's why it's so easy for people to leave church so easily nowadays. Because they have no roots. See, this stuff in you has to be watered. It has to be watered. That's why Matthew 4, 4 said, man, should not live by bread alone. That seed in you has to be watered. But it can't be watered on anything. It has to be watered on good soil. Amen. So your roots, it can what? Grow. Because if you're not rooted in what's being taught nowadays, James chapter one through uh, verse eight says what? You know, he is a double minded man or woman and stable in all his ways, meaning double minded. Have a double mind mean having in the mind opposite or opposing views at different times. That's what double minded mean. Dill, you're going to do something for me. Yeah, ask me tomorrow. I don't know. Double minded. That's what that means. I might see something this way. Then again, I might see something. I might believe in New Hope's teaching tomorrow. I might be a seven day event. 
double-minded and stable in all his ways. You see, when a man is unstable in all his ways, he can't be trusted. You have to watch a man that's unstable in all his ways. All his ways. Decision-making. Leading the family. Jobs. All his ways. Unstable. Mass shooting in Baltimore. Mass shooting in Philadelphia. By men that's unstable in all their ways. The guy in Philadelphia was running around like a drag queen. You look at his Instagram post. He, he, he had like a woman. He had long braids acting like a woman in a whole night. And then that evil spirit of a killer. Decides to enter his little soul. Now all of a sudden he decided to dress like he's from the army. Bulletproof vest. All of that. AR-15. Look like a soldier. One minute you're a woman. Another minute you're a soldier. Unstable in all his ways. Decide to walk down the street and shoot where they're having a block party. Innocent people. No reason at all. Unstable in all his ways. Amen. Why? Because they're not connected to something. Wasn't rooted to something. And nowadays, everybody and their mama got a gun now. You can go on Walmart and there and use people two or three guns on them. Now you got these spirits that's unstable in all their ways. And now you have mass shoot. Because they're not rooted. They're not connected to something. Amen. Not connected to the power that helped you fight off these evil spirits that make you want to do these demonic things. Because that's all it is, demonic, to make you go shoot in a crowd of innocent people who ain't have nothing to do with you. Unstable in all your ways, what the Bible say. Amen. And you know what's happening? Luke chapter 22, uh, verse 31. We're talking about being deeply rooted here. 2231. We there say amen. Don't want to keep the church waiting. Well, I know you see it up there anyway. Y'all waiting on me. And the Lord says, Simon, Simon, indeed. Satan has asked for you. Stop right there. So they let me know that the devil just can't do anything that he wants. See, we have to keep that in mind. It's just like Job. You know that God, the devil came to, I mean, the devil came to God before he done that. Do it where you want to do. You ain't going to touch his soul. So you notice this right here. Satan has what? Asked for you that he may swift you like wheat. Hmm. What do swift you like wheat mean? Shaking them up. Breaking them down. Amen. And see, that's what the devil doing to, uh, to the church nowadays. He's shaking them up, breaking them down, living in fear. Stealing and stealing and stealing like a thief at night. Now, you know, when a thief in a break in your home, he don't call you and give you warning. He don't send you a text message that I'm finna steal your goods. He catch you with your guards down. Other words, he catch you slipping like, quote unquote, we like to say around, catch you with your hands down. And then he comes, steal your peace, steal your joy, put certain situations in life. But remember, the Bible say, man, he have to, the devil cannot do nothing, nothing, nothing but tempt. Your mind is a battleground for him. He's seeing your different thoughts. To get you. To get unconnected with the source. Amen. If that makes sense. Shaking them up. Breaking them down. Amen. But when you're deeply rooted. Like Pastor Hilda said. Isaiah 54 17 said there's no weapon form. Now. The word form. Means there's no weapon that would be fashioned. Amen. 
Because when you're deeply rooted, what is it, Pastor Hilda? It won't prosper. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 7 and 8 says what? We there? See, when you're deeply rooted, y'all, the Bible say four. What did it say? Seven. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, for his hope is in the Lord, for he shall be like a tree. What? Be like a tree. What? Planted by the waters which spread out its what? Roots. By the river. And when that fear, when heat come, heat. Bills, heat, uh, 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 whatever that the devil's trying to throw at you, heat, uh, financial heat, health, heat, marriage, heat, whatever. But the Bible says he will not fear when the heat comes, but its leaves will be green. What that mean? But his, le his leaves will be green, meaning you will be at peace. That's what that mean. You don't have to sing the song Trouble in My Way. I often cry sometimes. You won't have to see that because the Bible, my Bible tells me you will have peace. Huh? And even if you do cry sometimes, it will be the tears of joy. Because you know that joy is coming. Amen. Morning means season. Induce season. Because the Bible tells me in Psalms chapter one, verse three, it says he shall be like a tree planted. The rivers of water and whose leaf shall not wither, meaning life will be stable, balanced. Right. And whatever he or she do, they shall what? They shall what? Prosper. Say it like you mean it. Prosper. That's if you're deeply rooted. If you're connected, you say, what you mean, Theo, if? Well, I can prove it. I can prove this. Psalms chapter 92, verse 13 says what? I can prove this. What you mean by if you're deeply rooted, Theo? It say those. That word those let me know that it ain't for everybody. Only for the ones that's connected to me. Only the ones that's rooted to me. What did it say? Those are planted in the house of the Lord. Shall flourish in the court of our God. And then 14 says this, my favorite. And then they shall bear fruit. Even in old age. If you're rooted. <laughs> the Bible says you have to be planted. Then once you're planted. You're rooted and not just being rooted, but deeply rooted. And y'all, believe it or not, that's all I have. <laughs> believe it or not, uh, Tony. <laughs> oh, okay. So we all good? We good? I told you I wasn't going to hold y'all up long, man. Head to Father in heaven. Everybody good? No prayer for elders, y'all. Everybody? We all good? God is good, yeah. And the Father in heaven, thank you, Father God, for this word today. Father, we give you all praise and the glory and honor to let us know that we need to always be rooted to you, especially in this time and age, Father, and forever. And we thank you for the word that went out, Father God, and I pray that it touched on solid ground, Father God. And I thank you, thank you, thank you for the opportunity, and I give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen and amen.